Hi everyone. It's Friday. Welcome to New Day, New Word. This is Mar I'm Marcia Grace, your modern meditation mentor. And today's word begins with the letter T. We're up to the letter T today. And the word is trend. So I thought of this word because I was reading something in the paper the other day. And um, in financial circles, there's a, there's a um, uh, saying that the trend is your friend. And I don't know about that. I kind of have a doubt that that may be true all the time. Um, and of course it depends what circle you're moving in and, and what you mean by that. Just as in everything in life, when we're speaking words, it really all depends on where we're coming from at the moment and who we're speaking to and what we're speaking about, uh, that determines what those words actually mean. So, uh, let's play with the word trend today a little bit. And uh, what I, uh, I guess, first uh, think of is, uh, and, and again, I can check my handy dandy little little dictionary here. Ah, oh, it weighs a ton. <laughs> um, my old dictionary. And let me see, I'll give you the, de the definition actually comes from, I just looked this up, from the old English, the word uh, that, that means a ring or a circle. Uh, that moves forward in a direction, um, something to that effect. Um, so, uh, so that's so. This trend is something that's that's um, encompasses uh, a particular thought or idea um, or system. You know, it depends again what you're talking about, but it and it moves us in a particular direction. So the trend could be. As we've often seen, the trend is to um, everybody, you know, when, uh, when smartphones just came out, uh, nobody had a smartphone until people started getting smartphones. And then the trend was, well, everybody wanted a smartphone. So, uh, so now everybody has smartphones, or many, many people. And um, so that's the kind of idea that we tend to think of when we think of the word trend, or in um, clothing, in dress, in the way we dress. The trend is short skirts or long skirts or uh, wide trousers or narrow trousers or, <laughs> or lapels are thin or wide or ties or what have you. Uh, so uh, all kinds of different things um, depend on the trend. Is it, we have the term trendsetter, right? Some person uh, that people consider a, f a famous individual who um, they want to emulate. So we follow that trend setter and um, uh, do what that person is doing or is talking about. So, uh, so you know, these are the kinds of ways we think of the word trend in terms of our everyday normal life. But of course, I like to fool around with the word and give it a slightly different context and uh, a spiritual one, uh, you know, from where I come from. Uh, it's all about our inner life what's going on in our inner life what kind of a trend is going on in your inner life are you moving toward peace and joy and happiness or are you letting your little yeah 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 ego um keep saying things to you like you shouldn't have done that why did you do this um uh you, you know you're this you're that you're not good enough you're not smart enough all of those negative things that we can tend to hear if we're listening to that uh, little chatterbox at the top of our heads. So, you know, stop for a minute. And this is where meditation for me is so essential because when you can stop for a minute and, and just be within yourself in your own quiet space and listen to what's going on apparently between your ears. I don't really think of it that way, but you know, we're, we're, what's going on inside of us? What's going on? What are we hearing when the chatter stops for a minute? Are we hearing um, all kinds of um, uh, self-defeating uh, things or, or things from the past? Uh, or are we hearing things that are nurturing, that support us? Are we hearing things that say, you can do it, you're capable, you're beautiful, you're a part of um, this holy creation that we have all around us? 
So let that be your trend. Let your trend be the trend that takes you in the direction of finding your own inner wisdom, of hearing that wisdom and being able to put it into practice in your daily life. Because it's no good to hear wisdom if you don't use it, right? If you have money in your pocket and you don't spend it, well, you don't have any... Um, uh, you know, pleasure from it. So, uh, so we need to spend our spiritual money on ourselves, nurturing ourselves and recognizing the beauty that's within each and every one of us. And there is beauty in each and every one of us if we look hard enough and uh, check out where we can be the most useful, helpful, peaceful, joyful, and exceptional trendsetters in our world. So have a beautiful day, everyone. Uh, it's uh, a nice fall weekend. Go out there and break some leaves or kick some leaves as you walk down the street and have a beautiful, beautiful week until we meet again. Bye-bye.